it is a new year. I mean, we're already like a month into it, but a year has has changed. The year went from 2017 to 2018 in the time since I last uploaded anything to this channel. Two things to know about me is that I love New Year's stuff and I am basically always late to everything ever. Also, I'm literally not gonna talk about it at all in this video, but I should acknowledge that also since the last time that I uploaded a video to this channel, uh, my hair is blue and I have a tattoo. Mm. I mentioned last year that I sometimes do a big year-end processing and goal-setting thing and I did that again in December of 2017. One part of that process is choosing a theme word for the year ahead and my word for last year was focus. I had a lot of big ambitious plans for 2017 and none of it really panned out. I fell short on all of my major goals for the year but I also put in a lot of work and I kept showing up in whatever ways my mental health allowed and so it's it's hard for me to really call that a failure. I wrote about that earlier this month and I will link that blog post below if you're interested. Failure or not, it was rough. And so I decided to set some looser umbrella goals for 2018. To be clear, I think that anybody telling you that one or the other is inherently better or worse is wrong. I think that it is a matter of understanding yourself and where you are at in your life. But this is about me and where I'm at in my life right now. So my word for 2018 is ignite. Even got this fun brace lit as a reminder. This word for me is largely about beginnings, starting things. That's a space in which I generally come alive, which is also probably part of why I love New Year shit so much. Last year was long and fucking difficult, but I got through it and now I am ready to get fired up about new wonderful things, including some old things that I am making new again. One of the things that I hadn't really planned on focusing on that much this year, but is already shaping up to be a big part of the year ahead is pouring a lot of my time and energy into Snark Squad again, which isn't exactly a new thing, but it feels like a new beginning, I guess. In part because we are doing a lot of new things this year. The biggest being the podcast, Snark Squad Pod, which you should check out if you haven't already. It is a media podcast where me and the always brilliant Marinez talk about books and TV shows and movies and just all sorts of pop culture and media related things and it has just been a ton of fun. The hours that I spend working on that are my favorite parts of the week. I love it, I'm having a blast, and I hope other people are enjoying it too. We're also launching a newsletter and a Discord server and generally just trying new things with the site and the little community that we have there. All of that relates to my two big umbrella goals for the year. The bigger of the two being trying to be better about spaces of community, building them, participating in them, nurturing them, just all of them. I'm excited to be back in this place where I'm spending all of this time and energy on this thing that is bigger than myself, that I care so much about. There's always this weird dynamic that I have with personal content spaces like this one. Creating conversation pieces out of my own thoughts and getting them out of my head is good, but at the same time, it's also a space where I am an island. Snark Squad, on the other hand, has always been a community and one that, again, I care deeply about and I'm just really excited to be reinvesting myself in that community this year. I think that starting my job at Complexly had me kind of going all in on Nerdfighteria and YouTube communities and I do love and care about those spaces, but Snark Squad is something that I helped build and so it means something to me in a very different way. In all of my processing, I think that feeling of being an island was part of what made 2017 so difficult for me and so that is why course correcting a away from that is a big part of how I want to go forward into 2018. My other major umbrella goal for the year is about learning new things, trying stuff, making messes, which again is also related to all of the new kind of things that we're trying on Snark Squad, but is something that I'm working on in other areas of my life as well. We will see how that works out for me, but in the meantime, I would love to hear what kinds of plans you are making right now, big or small, New Year's related or not. So please let me know in the comments below so I can support you and cheer you on and all of that good stuff. Okay, bye.